My battery is around 4 years old but still running strong since I drive my car daily. With the weather getting cold, now's a good time to perform some maintenance and see if I need to add distilled water to it. I just need to remove the two thumb screws from my A Car Guys Garage battery box first. The factory battery has these six vent caps, while other batteries may instead have two rectangular covers you need to pry off with the flathead. If you have a sealed or HEM battery, they will be maintenance free and this video will not apply to you. Make sure your battery is fully charged. Before I remove the caps, I want to clean the top of the battery so no dirt or debris falls inside. Make sure you're wearing gloves as the liquid inside is a mix of sulfuric acid and water. To make cleaning and access easier, I use my 10mm socket to unbolt and remove the battery tie down. You should be able to unscrew the caps by hand. Just put them somewhere safe. Now, if you get a stubborn one like this, you can use a pair of needle nose pliers to give yourself some extra leverage to loosen it, then remove it by hand the rest of the way. It looks like a lot of dirt got under the cap even though I've never opened them before. We'll want to clean that up before removing any other caps. I'm using a damp paper towel to clean this up. You want to be careful so no dirt falls inside the battery. All six vent holes are nice and clean, and I went ahead and rinsed all the dirt off the caps. Now let's inspect the water level. Looking in here, we can see the bottom edge of the hole, and the water level looks to be maybe half an inch below it. If it was really low, then you'd see some of the lead plates exposed. Again, make sure your battery is fully charged first. The electrolyte liquid is more dense when charged, so if you fill it up while it's discharged, then charge the battery, the levels will rise and the liquid can overflow out the vent holes. Okay, so I'm going to use this dedicated car maintenance funnel to top off the battery. Be sure you're only using distilled water for this and not tap or even filtered water. Perfect. I have all the levels sitting at the bottom edge of the vent holes. My process was I would just add a little water, pull the funnel away to check, and then add more water. You want to be careful not to overfill. If you do, you can use a turkey baster to remove the excess. I wouldn't plan on using it for food again afterwards. Now to replace all six caps. You just need to tighten them down hand tight. And now to replace the battery tie down. The trick for the hook is that it doesn't face towards the battery, but towards the driver's side. I can't really show it here, but there's a small hole for the hook to go into. Here's what it should look like when it's installed. I loosen the nut on top just enough so I can push the front of the tie down flat. Now to replace the front bolt here. It may be easier to screw it all the way down with the socket wrench. Once that's secure, Tighten down this nut enough so you have equal clamping force on the front and back of the battery. Now all that's left to do is put my cover back on. And I'm done. And I didn't have to use too much water, which is nice. Hopefully this battery will last a few more years before I have to replace it. I recommend getting your battery tested once it gets to be about 4 or 5 years old. I hope this helps you out. If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now. And as always, thank you for watching.